and then they never go anywhere. Where yeah. they were on their way to having a fulfilled life. How many people broke up with their fucking loved ones because they had to be with them all day, 24 hours a day, and they yeah. were just sick of them? Maybe they would have worked out great if they just yeah. went along at a, a, a natural trajectory. Yeah. How about if you just start with a girl? You just meet her. You've been dating for a couple of weeks, and like all of a sudden the pandemic hits, and you really like her. Yeah. You're like, I just, let's just live together. Fuck it. And you're like, how long is it going to take? You tell your friends, like, you sure that's a good idea, Andrew? You've only known her for 14 days. We bought a dog. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. 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 We bought a fucking golden doodle, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> we did. It's true. You ever call your buddy uh, from a new number and his girl answers the phone? Girl answers the cell phone. Right. Hello. Yeah. Um, I'm calling for Greg. Yeah. Who's this? Yeah. Greg's friend? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? That's the real question. Is Greg have a secretary? What is this? And he's like, oh, yeah, man, that's my girlfriend. She didn't recognize the number. Who got locked up? She didn't recognize the number. <laughs> oh, so she just answers your phone yeah. when she doesn't recognize the number? Yeah. What? What are you talking about, man? Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I've had a, I've been very lucky. Like, I, you know, me and my girl live together and well, you would tolerate we've had a great... Less. Say again? You, you would tolerate nothing less. You're that's, not a fucking that, moron. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like I, I cannot function well in uh, misery. Yeah. I won't tolerate misery. Dude, I would hate She's to be great. a woman working for a guy who wanted to fuck me. It would probably be horrible. Dude, being a guy wanted to work for, like... Oh, my God. If there was a guy who, who was your boss who wanted to fuck you? And oh, I was thinking like a girl boss, that? but also that. That sucks. Oh, girl boss would be rough, too. But at yeah, least... if a guy was putting a pressure on, like if a guy was really like rubbing your shoulders, like guys do to chicks Ooh. at work, like Ooh. like laying the meat on your back Ooh. a bit. Ooh. I knew a casting agent that was a female that was kind of gross, and she would fuck dudes and get them rolls. Yeah? Oh, yeah. She'd throw it around. Really? Back in the Disney, son. Back in the really? 90s. Really? Got a lot of fellas on a lot of projects. Really? Did yeah. you get something? No. Yeah? But she tried to fuck one of my friends. That was the only thing I you're scared of. I call him off. Hey! <laughs> hey! There was a girl. Oh, I guess I shouldn't out her, but. I, I, I'm not outing anybody. I That's won't say names, but I think there was a girl that worked at a comedy club in New York. <gasps> They would uh, fuck a lot of comics. And, and get them on the stage? I think that's how it worked. I mean, that's basically what This is way Mitzi back did. in the day. This is way back in the yeah. day. But did Misty. Yeah, but listen, Mitzi, here's the deal. Yeah. Here's the difference. Yeah. I support that. Keep going. No one's getting killed. See, right. what I'm scared about with women is yeah. that men are physically stronger. Yes. When the man is physically stronger, the woman can just basically just fuck him. They yes. Can, they only have sex with him. Yes. And if, if the, the sucky thing is if it affects your career, I get that. But there's a big difference between that and worried you're actually going to get raped or yes. worried you're going to get killed. What women have to worry about with guys that want to fuck them is creepy, angry, guy-type shit. Yes. With men have to worry about just lies. They have to worry about like hysterical lies and crazy people making things up right. or maybe the new boyfriend coming over to kick your ass. Yep. That's the kind of stuff you have to worry about. You have to worry about, you know, less things and yeah. you don't have to worry about any of it during sex. That's what I was saying. If you're going to, was it Andrea Lima? Who's the girl? Adriana, Adriana, Adriana Lima. Lima. Yeah, yeah. Adriana Lima. Joint. Basketball court. Nothing around. No physical yeah. objects. Yeah. She can't kill you with anything. Yeah. If she she puts her pants on screaming and runs out to the car, yeah. you got plenty of warning. You grab a chair. Yeah. You know what you, you know what you're doing. What do you do? Keep her away like a lion. Okay. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Chair. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Or if, stop. One more time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more. Is this but what we're doing? But my my point is like it has to be an extremely psychotic woman for you to yeah. be actually worried about your life. Yeah. So if a girl comes over your house. You might worry about your wallet if you fucked up and you just barely know her. Now all of a sudden she's rummaging through your house. Mm -hmm. But you don't worry about your life. Yeah, you don't worry about your life. If a woman takes a guy over her house, she worries about her 